hello everyone in this video we are going to see what is output caching output caching is nothing but storing the result at the client site for a short duration whenever i submit or i click a button it makes a post back say for example in my grid i have 1000 records and due to some action the page which contains grid view is making n number of post backs so what happens for each and every post back my request goes to server and server sends the response and it is going to refill the grid even though data does not gets updated so frequently but my grid view gets refreshed for each and every post back from the page now what i want is i don't want to hit the server for grid view for each and every post back even though i am performing some other operation on the page which is no way related to grid view my grid view gets refilled i want to stop that so i can achieve that with the help of output caching for example i have hit the server and got the information from the database into the grid view and i am making some post backs so for various post backs it should not go to the server and get the data it should get the data from the ram or from the cache which is on the client side for a duration of say 10 second 20 second or whatever it may be so that we can optimize the performance of our application so say for example i have a label here and a button in page load what is it i'll do i'll just take the date in the label current date right click view code so i want to display current date in the label So I'll say label one dot text equals to date time dot now dot to string. So this is the date that my server contains. So for here. server and clients are the same machines so for example my server is in us and i am accessing the application from india and if i execute this application so i'll get the date and time set on the server which is in us i won't get the date and time of my system so whenever i click the button you see that time gets updated for each and every click so for every second i am getting the data from server and this part gets updated so my button click does not contain any kind of relation with this date and time but because it is make making a post back so my data gets updated for every hit now what i want is i don't want to get this date and time for every hit say for a duration of 10 seconds so till 10 seconds it should display the time from the client itself so in first hit it went to the server and got the data and stored in the client machine so i am trying to access from client's cache so to do that it is very simple i need to add a simple tag in the page we call it as directive so this is page directive in the same way i want to add one more directive called as output cache and here i'll say duration equals to 10 so that is nothing but 10 seconds and vary by param equals to star now what does this vary by param means say for example i have information on my page about employees and 
I am making an output cache of that. Now, whenever I select a department, say HR, and I get the information about the HR. Now, if I change the department from HR to admin, then I need the updated information. I don't want the information that I have in my cache. If I take the information of cache, then it will display me only HR. It will not go for admin. So vary by param in the sense, if the data in the grid view is working with parameters, and if parameter changes, the information should change. That means if my parameter changes from HR to admin, then it should go back to server and get the latest information or the updated information or information about the admin. It should not show me the same HR. If parameter is not changing, if parameter is same, say I'm performing some other operations, so my parameter in the dropdown list still remains HR, then it need not to get the updated one. So I want to change the information of grid view or I want to get the data from the server for this grid view whenever there is change in parameter. So for that I say vary by param equals to star. Now I have cached this page for 10 seconds. Let me execute this. Start caching. 53. Now it is 4, so 10 seconds. Seven, then it should go for 17. Eighteen. Fine. So it means that it is caching the output for 10 seconds. You see that the time gets updated after 10 seconds. So this is nothing but your output caching. This is very simple. Just you need to add a simple tag and this will cache your complete page. So we call it as output caching. Thank you very much.